Hello, Taurus viewers. So I'm going to get right into the reading, just whatever the cards want to say. I've got a new deck here, so we'll see what comes out. I've got Queen of Swords right off the bat, Three of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Justice. You wanted to build something with someone, or this this could be career for some of you. You wanted to build something with like a team, and now I think you're realizing you'd be better off just on your own as the the queen. Oops, sorry, as the queen of pentacles in the justice card. Let's see. Tell me more about this this energy up here. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles. the moon. Yeah, something either came out or something's about to come out. There might be like a, there's some kind of injustice. There might be some kind of workplace injustice for some of you. Where it's like you're being kept in the dark about something and there's some kind of secret that's about to be revealed. It's like some somebody at work could be stealing your ideas or there could be there could be some kind of jealous person at work that you're dealing with. For others, this could be love. So we'll get into that in just a minute. But for some, it's like there's something that's unfair here. Like you you want that balance, but something is kind of, it, it seems like it's there's a lack of balance there. And some kind of secret is, is has been revealed or is about to be revealed. This could be like a business partner too that they're, they're stealing from the company or they're they have their own idea, like they have, they might have their own ideas for how they want to run the business, but they're not telling you about that. And again, only go with your intuition. Like, don't try to make it fit if it's not resonating. Like if it's your story, this is probably going to be something that you already kind of felt. And we'll get into what this means for love in just a minute here too. But it might be like one of those business partners where it's like you maybe are, you're doing some kind of creative pursuit with them, but it's like they have something in mind. It's like they have other things in mind and they're not really telling you what those things are. There's some kind, like they might have hidden motives here basically is what I'm seeing. And I feel like, tell me more about this truth that's going to come out. And I want to start getting into what this means for love, for those of you that it's not career. Five of cups, three of wands, judgment, king of cups, seven of pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody here is, for some, this might be a business partner that has romantic feelings for you or a boss or somebody, like somebody that you work with that has romantic feelings for you. And they might just be giving you, it's like there might be some kind of like financial offer or they're doing something because they have hope of it going somewhere. It's like this person's like trying to be patient and perseverant. Um, and then it's like the Ten of Swords. It's not going anywhere with you, though. You don't have feelings for this person. But it's like they're waiting for the ship to sail in. And I feel like you're going to make a judgment call and you're going to be like, screw this. I don't want this. Or for others, it's like they might not have feelings, but they might just they might just have their own ideas of how they want to run things. But they're not telling you just yet. It's like they're strategizing. It's like there's some kind of sneaky behavior behind the scenes, like where they're strategizing on on um, how they want to run things. And they think that if they bring these ideas to you too soon, that you might not be open to them um show me what this looks like in the context of a romantic relationship queen of cups seven of wands the chariot the emperor two of cups temperance three of swords King of Pentacles, Strength, the Hierophant. Okay, for others, for some of you, I feel like this is somebody that you have love for. Like you do have a romantic interest in this person. 
Um, and th these are always intuitive exercises. So this could be about this could be about your pet. This could be about a mother or father figure. This could you know take it if this is your story, it should resonate. But if intuitively you I I put the cards down and you're like oh I know what that means. Like take that take that as it resonates. Even if I say something else, like use your intuition. Like these should always be an in uh you know an exercise to kind of get you more in touch with your intuition and, and really tuning into that. But um anyway. For some, I feel like this person has a controlling side that they're not showing you. And again, if this is your reading, I think you would have already felt that. But for some of you, I feel like this is somebody that you're, it's like somebody new that you're getting to know, or it could even be someone from, for, for a lot of you, I feel like it's somebody new that you're, that you're just now getting to know, or like somebody from the past coming back around for some of you. But it feels like this person has a controlling side and they don't want to let you go. Like they don't want you to see their bad side. And I almost feel like this is somebody that if they just let it flow naturally with you, and again, take it as it resonates, because this could be you. This could be warning you not to sabotage a connection, because you could be this controlling person, and you're trying to strategize and control things, and it might be creating stagnation in this connection. So again, take it how it resonates if it's you or them. But whoever this person is, I feel like they're causing this ten of swords themselves. Like they're, they have these control issues, they're trying to strategize, and they're not... They're being overly logical when it comes to this relationship. They're not just letting it flow naturally. They're they're trying to. It's almost like they they're so they're afraid of losing you. Like I think the the person that's more free spirited, um, there's one person in this connection that's like kind of free spirited and more open and more. They have a lot of options. They're attractive, and then there's another person that's a little bit more control like control issues kind of maybe a little bit insecure a little bit guarded a little bit strict kind of uh, logical kind of set in their ways and I feel like this person is like intimidated by the other person's like free spiritedness and their um, outspokenness and their uh, all these you know potential options that they have and this person like just wants you all to themselves and so they're kind of strategizing on how to keep you, how to keep you stuck, how to keep you feeling obligated to them, how to make sure you don't meet anybody else, how to make sure you don't move on. Um, and again, it's sad because if they just joined you, if they if they just stepped up and matched your energy, it's it's like you don't really I don't I don't think you're really interested in other people like they think that you are. But I honestly think that you actually do really like this person. And, and it's like they're they're kind of ruining it for themselves like they're they're so afraid of losing you that they're they're pushing you away almost that they're trying to control everything and I think you can see through it or I think it feels kind of like you feel a little bit trapped with this person or you feel like they're being a little bit fake like they're just saying whatever you want to hear like I feel like you feel like it's like they're trying to you know present themselves as this balanced person this king of pentacles for some i feel like it could also be a secret that they're hiding like they have some kind of mental illness or some kind of health issue and it's almost like they're strategizing how to make sure not to let you find out about this secret because they're afraid that you're you're going to see them differently but it's like they're trying to control this whole relationship um it's like they're trying to be strong and like it's kind of like it's like they're taming their impulses they're not speaking out they're not express fully expressing their emotions it's like they're trying to be strong and they're trying to present themselves to you as a king of pentacles or a queen of pentacles because they do want like you know possibly marriage long-term commitment with you they do see this future with you but it's like you feel like something's off you feel like they're hiding something or they're holding back they're like so focused on trying to present this image that they're not really being their true selves. And you, you feel, you know, you feel that kind of weird, awkward, kind of stagnant energy around them where you're like, why are you like, why are you being so reserved? Like you feel that you're very, you know, the other person is very free spirited. So this free spirited person feels the energy of the, the person that's, you know, in a more controlling energy. They feel that kind of stagnation a little bit. something's it's kind of just sneaky though so i feel like whatever this is it's gonna be different for everybody but it feels like they need to they need to just calm down they need to calm the fuck down and just be themselves just calm your tits whoever this is um 
yeah, they need to just be themselves. They need to just be honest with you about whatever this is. For some, they might be like going through a divorce or they might even have kids um, that you don't like older kids or something that they don't, they're afraid. They're just like, they, it's going to be different for everybody, but they're afraid that if you find this secret out that you're not going to want them. Tell me more about this. The devil. Nine of wands. Two of pen. Yeah, they're trying to juggle multiple things. Eight of wands. Three of cups. For some, it's a third party. Four of pen. Oh, let's see. Seven of cups, four of pentacles. And third party isn't always a person. Like I said, this could be the them having kids or it's like there's some kind of outside energy. Hmm. Let me think here. Because I'm not really getting, I mean, for some it could be cheating, but I'm not getting a strong cheating energy because it really feels like this person's like kind of obsessed with you. Like this person is very attached to you. So I don't really feel like they would want, I mean, if there is a toxic ex that they're dealing with, like, I don't think they would want them. You know what I mean? Like, I think it would be maybe someone that like they have financial ties to that they can't cut out if it is, you know, actually another person, but I'm not I'm just not feeling that energy of them really wanting anyone other than you because it's like they they know what they have with you. They see they have you on this pedestal. They really they really don't want to lose you. And they're again, they're very scared of your free spirited nature. They're really afraid that you're just that you're gonna go off and do your own thing. You have to kind of watch out for this person too, though, because they they can't be dragging you down to to where they're at. They need to step up and and meet you where you're at because you could be somebody that is free spirited and adventurous and loves to travel and loves to meet new people and you're super outgoing and this person's kind of the opposite and you don't want to let them drag you down to their level you know what i mean like they need to accept you as you are this person's insecure though they don't you know when you're outgoing and you're you might be somebody who's very social and very you have like a light about you where you're just easy to talk to you people just like the room lights up when you're around and this person doesn't like that this person almost wants to dim that light because they're af so afraid of losing you they're so afraid that you know other people are going to see you the way that they see you that they're going to realize what a what a catch they have and they're just kind of afraid of of losing you even with like traveling like i don't know if it it's like this person just has some some deep insecurities they need to work on because you don't you want to keep you want to be able to keep being yourself with this person. So this person is going to have to stop being. It's like they have these illusions and fears about losing you and then they just cling tightly to you like they get in their head and they get paranoid about losing you and then they just they run with those illusions. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, my God, like she's going to clubs. Like, what if she meets somebody? Oh, my God. Like, like if they ha if you have like a night that you go out with your friends or like like. They might want to spy on you or they might want to be like, like, who is she with? Like, like, where is she going? Or where's, where is he going? Where's, she, where's, where's, you know, like, I wonder who, I wonder who they're talking to right now. Like, I wonder why they haven't been online all day. Like, you know, like, are they with somebody? Like somebody that's just like really quick. And I mean, I think they do have traumas from relationship. I think this person does have deeper, deep rooted and abandonment issues. And if you love this person, I'm not saying not to deal with it, but I'm just saying that like. They do need to work through this and find that balance because, again, you don't want to lose your free-spirited nature for, for somebody that's like this. Even though I have, you know, sympathy for this person, like, it is really hard when you lose people. It's hard because they have you on such a pedestal. They're like, you know, they, they feel like you could just have, like, anybody that you want. And that terrifies them like they don't they almost feel it's almost like this person has imposter syndrome and they're almost like, how did I get so lucky? Like, it, it's almost like they feel like they're faking it. They're like, what if they like, what if you see through me and what if you don't want me anymore? You know what I mean? Like they're afraid that you're going to meet other people and you're going to realize that there's better out there. There's going to be someone more attractive, more intelligent than them. Um so, I mean, like, it's it's sweet in a way because it's like they really, really just highly value you. Like, they think the world of you. They think you're just the most amazing person they've ever met. Like, you just, you're so creative and free-spirited and interesting. And, but it's like, they just want to keep you to themselves. They just want to keep you inside, kind of locked away. They don't, they don't want other people to see you and, and recognize what they see in you. You know what I mean? Like, they don't want to lose you to anybody. 
But I mean, you, again, you still have to be careful with this because relationships like this can turn abusive. If not physically abusive, then at least mentally abusive because, you know, this person's insecurities cannot be dictating the entire relationship. You, you know, be careful with this person mentally manipulating you because of their own insecurities and fears of losing you. Like, you do need to be able to go out and drink and have fun with your friends if you want to do that. You need to be able to go travel and pursue your hobbies and have interest outside of the relationship. This is somebody who's very codependent, who does not want you to have any, you know, friends or, or, or maybe, may, may, I don't know, some of them don't even want you to have friends outside of them, but some of them are okay with it, but they're still just like afraid that your friends will hook you up with, with somebody that's better than them. Um, it's like, you're this person's safe space. Like they just look at them. They're like clinging to you. They're like, I don't want anybody else. Like this is, this is it. Like, it's just me and you. Um, so I mean, I guess it's sweet in a way, but again, you have to look for like red flags with this person too. If you're already feeling this energy, like don't let them gaslight you and trick you and make you think like you're doing something wrong because you go out with your friends on a Friday night or you want to travel and they don't want to travel. So you say, okay, well, I'm going to go on this trip with my friends anyway. I'll be back in a week. Like you have every right to do that. You know, like you should, you should continue living your life and, um, you should continue living your life and having fun and doing the things that you want to do. Don't, don't change who you are for this person, unless that's something that you really want to change about yourself. But I mean, don't, don't lose that free spirited side of yourself for this person. You know what I mean? Like you, you deserve to still go out and have fun and do things. Um, don't let this, per again, don't let this person manipulate you into thinking that you're doing something wrong by just wanting to go out and when they just want to stay home and they don't want the world to see you or whatever. It's like, cause they have the opportunity to go out with you too. Like they can go with you. If they don't want to go, that's on them. I feel like this person has like depression and insecurities and a lot of things that they need to deal with too in order for them to show up as a as a good partner for you because right now they're not really your equal they're not really quite on your level this is somebody again they kind of want to drag you down to their level they don't want to it's like I just get like this anxiety from this person like just like a hoarding kind of energy it's like they want to hoard your energy for themselves they don't they don't want the world to see you they don't want to lose you they they don't want anything to change um, you know, kind of devil energy here. So if this, this person is going to be good to you, good for you, again, you got to stand in your power with this person though. You got to kind of put them in your place and you got to say, you know what, I'm going out with my friends or I'm going to go travel. I'm going to keep being myself. I, if you want to be a home buddy, you can, but that's not me. I want to go out and do things like you have to really be strong and set boundaries with this person because this person does have some deep insecurities and control issues and if you give them the chance they will control you they will trap you they will you know keep you locked inside where you know where it's just you and them so you you really got to be aware of these control issues this person has and make sure you don't lose yourself to this connection um hmm I don't see them being great right now. I mean, they're going to have to get counseling or help or they're going to have to work on themselves. If they're going to be good for you because right now I just get this energy. Maybe it'll progress, you know, and I'd love to hear your stories too. I'd love to hear you guys, you know, tell me how this resonates with you below. Um, I'm interested to see how this progresses. Like some of you might give up on this, but some of you might stay with this connection, but it's, it's like they're going to have to they're going to have to have a perspective shift right now. They're so afraid of losing you. I don't know if they saw you with somebody recently, or maybe, maybe now that it's summer, it's like you might be going out and having more fun and doing things more and it's making them really intimidated. But like, I don't, I don't really get at least, at least in the current energy, I just get this like hoarding energy, like, oh my God, like just come back home. Like, don't go anywhere. Don't, don't be with other people. Don't hang out with anybody. Just, just be with me and only me. Like that's the, the current energy I feel. So I'm not getting like a strong energy of them. Like, being open and like changing and, and seeing from a different perspective because they're in that they're in, this could be someone like with like a mental illness and they're like in like potential abandonment mode. You know what I mean? Where they're just like, Oh my God, I don't want to lose this person. I can't lose them. I'm scared. I'm terrified. So they're like not thinking clearly. So I'm not really seeing like a lot of healing or any, any, you know, progress being made with this person right now, but just because they're in that mode, they, they might be kind of depressed and kind of just, like strategizing, like wanting to make sure some of them are like trying to like 
almost like play hard to get but not too hard to get because they're like they want to like perfect it's like they, they just plan everything out everything they say they do it's like it's all just you know focused on like how, what they feel for you and not wanting to lose you that they're not letting it flow naturally they're not being their their true self with you they're not it's like they don't again they have imposter syndrome so it's almost like they feel like they're tricking you so it's like it hasn't really occurred to them to just let it flow naturally and just be themselves with you because they're like well if I did that like surely they're gonna leave you know if I if I show them my true colors if I show them who I am like surely they're not gonna want me um so it's almost like they they think that they're fooling you and they think that they have to like you know, be a mastermind and figure out how to keep up with this illusion. Like they, they tricked you into loving them or something, you know? So this person's insecurities are going to be an issue, honestly, because you would honestly love them so much more if they were just to be their true self and let it flow and just have fun with you. You know what I mean? Like some of you might be getting bored with this connection too, because you're like, you know, I like going out and having fun and this person never wants to go out anywhere. This person just wants to, you know, stay in their little shell in their little bubble um, but yeah, again, you know, keep being your true self, no matter what, if this person tries to change and then they're not right for you. Um, I, I don't, I mean, again, this person's so triggered by the fear of abandonment that I don't like see the energy of them like changing right now, but I guess like maybe it could change, but it's like, they need to, they, they need to work on these insecurities. They got a lot of shit that they need to work on. They need to stop. They're focusing on all, on all the wrong things, basically. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're losing you because of their fear of losing you because they're they're controlling you and not letting you just be yourself and do what you want to do. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope this helps someone. I'm going to put this out there. So if it resonates, uh, again, please comment a heart below. Uh, like the video, it helps me get back in the algorithm. If you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Dragon Enchantress, thank you for watching.